What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to an all new Let's Play Rome 2 Total War. We are, uh, you know, continuing where we left off and we have now constructed a 5th legion inside Thapsus. His entire goal is he will move down to Libya in time so we might as well start moving over our troops as we speak because it is going to take some time to do that. We have conquered all of Mauritania, so now we're working on spreading our culture and fixing up all of the issues with the, um, you know, the upset populace. We finally have six ballistas. We have two equites and two triari, so all we need to do now is just build up principes and next turn. So right now we're going to have 16 out of 20. Next turn we want to finally get our additional four units to have a full uh, legion. Looking at our world, we have 5,500 coin. I would like to utilize that money now, um, but I don't know where to go. So the more investments I make, the better off we will be. We are now making positive 21 relations every single turn. Uh, I might as well just leave the... Well, I don't know. If I, if I move you out now... Yeah, what I'm going to do is start making your way on up to Tingus. Um, and so the idea is these units... Uh, in, so this unit, which is General Hux's Legion and Gabrielica's Legion, are going to make their way down to Libya. I want this 4th Legion to make its way to Tingus. And just for role-playing reasons, I would like Gabrielica's Legion and General Hux's Legion to just outright annihilate Libya. The only other Legion that we have named right now is Arcana's Legion. You are going to be annihilating the different barbarians in the north. And uh, that's basically where we're going to stand. So I've got a lot of coin. Don't know what I'm going to use it on yet. I should probably go ahead and get the horse, uh, the better movement speed and cavalry speed for all of our provinces if I upgrade this Master Horse Breeder. And I suppose I could make more money if I got a trader. Um, and I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to lose a little bit of food, but I'm fine with that because we're going to make a lot of coin. And now we're out of money, so let's end this turn. Looks like I can upgrade two people, uh, both of our dignitaries. So now we are going to move you into authority, so critical chance of all actions, and I believe same thing with you. So next turn, if we continue to move down the authority branch, we should be able to have better taxation in total. All right, I see Cyrene is moving closer and closer to our borders. That does make me a little nervous. Um, I also need to build myself another navy, so that is going to be another goal of mine. You are going to go down to Lepsis. Actually, let's force march you into Lepsis. I see this navy from Cyrene. But sadly, every single province that we own inside Carthage is some sort of uh, trading port, so we can't really build up anything. Mm, can I improve you at all? Not really. You are now in Lepsis. Uh, let's take a look around the map. I want both of these units to force march themselves. And this unit, still not enough. If Can we still force march you? Are you being force marched? You are being force marched, but you're going to head to Tingus. And so now that we've rotated these two units... And surprisingly enough, we are still getting positive public order. Uh, hopefully we can get even more public order next turn. But what I need to do is upgrade Tingus to a civil municipium. So now we actually have artillery on the walls. And we have better, um, you know, uh, Latin cultural influence. Let's upgrade our manipular barracks as well. So not only are we going to be getting, um, you know, these levies replaced with hastadis, but we also get better... Uh, recruitment of troops altogether. So I guess I still have some coin. I would like to build a herding ground, but I, because I have such poor public order, I'm not going to worry about it yet. Uh, this can be upgraded to a harbor to get more money. And actually, yep, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do for now. How long until our navy will be ready? So one turn, that's exactly when we can start building up our navy. When I say navy, I mean the port that builds the navy, so the, the dockyard.
All right, so General Hux's Legion and Gabrielica will eventually make their way down. I definitely need to take the city of Cyrene so that I could start, uh, you know, building up. I could adopt this character or stop the adoption or let the character be adopted. But basically, once I take Cyrene, uh, I should be able to ultimately start building up a very powerful military presence in Libya. And not only military, but a naval presence as well. So it looks like someone is seeking to adopt one of our characters. He is a statesman. I'm going to stop the adoption because he does provide our family gravitas, which is what we need. And I get that that was probably a lot of coin to spend, but I don't mind. Let's bring you into a normal stance rather than forced march. You are now going to protect Tingus. And ultimately, um, let's upgrade the shipwright into a better dock. I don't really know what we're going to be able to build, but let's raise a fleet. In fact, I think we have to look at this again. Looking at raised forces, all we got to do is find somebody from Julia, and sadly we don't have any of them. So let's go to other houses, raise a fleet... We can get a Tower Hexareem, or an Assault Quadream. Let's get the Tower Ship, just in case. And I guess what we're going to do is build two Assault Biramays to finally build up our naval presence in this region. Uh, these two units are going to make their way back to Isle, and it's going to take a very long time to make their way to Libya, but at least they are on Forced March. All right, these naval units, can we build any better units? No, we cannot. Uh, they are going to, ooh, they are taking attrition, which is not good. They are going to stay in this particular area. So the idea is I have a navy here, a navy here, and a navy there. What I would like to do is to move this navy up into the Adriatic and build a new one to protect us in Libya. But sadly, um, <laughs> I don't really want to build units uh, all the way up here and send them down because it is a little far. All right, I've got quite a bit of coin. Can these units continue to move? Yes, they can. So we are now down in Macromedes, or Macamedes, and ah, uh, because I moved in Forced March and I didn't need to, I cannot actually produce those units I was wanting. Um, so I guess what I'm going to do is once the Gabriellica's Legion and General Hux make their way down to Libya, I obviously am going to liberate Cyrene, build up a dockyard there. Um, I wonder, though, where is... Our only other dockyard, as far as I know, is in Neapolis. Might as well upgrade that to a dock. Um, but ultimately, we can produce units here. We have positive 29 public order. Why? I don't understand why I have, I have so much happiness. Like, before it was positive 2. <clears throat> well, anyway, let's go ahead and build ourselves a trader. We are going to lose one food, but we're going to get a lot more money. Uh, I have some additional coin. Let's go ahead and build up two units of equites. And they're probably going to be even better because of our horse master horse breeder. Ending this turn, we are in the winter. <clears throat> A non-aggression no pack from Aravasi. Yeah, sure, why not? I don't mind. You're probably not going to exist for very long. But I would absolutely, uh, once I take Libya, I feel I'm definitely going to make my way to the north and start conquering these areas. Looks like we've just unlocked astronomy, which is now going to be, uh, you know, pushing us forward to unlock natural philosophy. So now we have minus 20% political action cost, minus 10% political incident occurrence, and 10% wealth from cultural, from all regions. regions. So now we're going to make our way to Natural Philosophy, unlocking a Scriptorium. We would lose a lot of food, but ultimately, uh, the reason why this is so important is because we get more, uh, you know, research rate. I mean, imagine having an additional 12% here, here, here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, 5 times 12 is 60. So additional 60% research rate. That's literally like double. Now, obviously, we're going to lose a lot of food, which is not good either. Uh, let's bring this unit into a normal stance. Let's build the rest of these principes. Can these be upgraded again? No, they cannot. Um, do we want to build up our navy? I think we do. We now have a uh, six-unit navy. 
Um, the public order is improving. We could still actually improve a lot of these provinces, though I don't think we're going to worry about it. Uh, Latin culture is going up. Public order is going up. Macromades and Lepsis. We could get better shops, though sadly we would lose a lot of food. Man, we're going to make a lot of money here. I wonder, can we improve Rome? Yes, we can. We could build this auditorium into a theater, but I have so much public order that it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, I don't want to waste my time. What about Cosentia? Uh, I can make Lily Bayum into a massive, massive uh, trading area. But do I want to do that? I can expand the city. And Cosentia, I think what we're going to do is build ourselves a trader. And the public order is going to go down, but I'm fine with that. So let's get ourselves a trader. And what I'm now going to do is get ourselves a pit mine. Oh, you know what? Let's build a villa because I think we're going to need a lot of food very soon. And so the idea is this villa will eventually become a cattle pen. And I suppose, are these units still capable of moving? Probably. Yes. So we are now going to actually right-click Carthage for both. And sadly, next turn, they will only be inside uh, the provinces of Carthage, but that is fine. I guess I still have 2,000 coin. I could go ahead and get more food, but also get minus one public order, and I think that's fine, though. So we are going to be building a cattle pen inside Dimity, and I guess ending this turn. I'm very excited to finally be able to conquer um, <laughs> Libya. And now that I have three legions, it's probably going to be a lot easier. It'd be better if I had four, but I don't know if I really want to wait all that long. And another thing I'm probably going to do is when it looks like we have an increase in rank of our patrician, both of them, might as well do that now. Um, we can now get better. So we, we're going down the authority tree. This one was taxation. Oh, excuse me. This one is taxation. Next time we're going to get better cultural influence. And there we have. It's only 5%, but it's a lot better than nothing. And so ultimately, I'm guessing we're getting about 220 additional coin. Uh, looking around, our navy is in the area but it is a little far away. Our units are still being forced to march over to Car Carthage. And I might as well finally start spending all of this money. If I look for Migdal, all the way down here, I mean, I could build a better settlement to get more uh, commerce from the purple dyes. I can upgrade this trader to not only lose food, but make more money. Uh, now we can upgrade the theater to get more money and more public order. And I would like to upgrade this harbor into a trading port, but we don't have the money. In fact, what I could do is actually get the, the trading port first and then do the auditorium later. Because all we're really doing is getting public order, but it's a lot of money to do that. Alright, I see the enemy has a navy. Uh, we have a navy too, but it doesn't seem all that powerful. Let's get a fire pot. I don't know what these are good against. Obviously, terrible threat to wooden ships. But I, I don't know if they're like ranged units or what. And so I guess, once again, we are going to end this turn. I would really like a navy down here. I just, I don't know what to do. So I guess what we're going to do now is build... What I'm going to do... Hmm. Go back to Migdal remove this harbor now i have money again i'm going to upgrade this navy to i suppose get two light artillery ships and maybe a heavy artillery ship and actually instead let's move you here and then i'm going to build those units And I'm hoping, so the reason why I think they're going to be useful is if I do manage to conquer Cyrene and I do an assault, uh, imagine if I had artillery attacking from the ocean. It would make things a heck of a lot easier.
All right, so now that our two legions are inside Carthage, I'm really only expecting maybe one or two additional turns for them to make their way down to Macromedes. So it is going to take some time. Looks like we have a bad omen. Can we go ahead and fix that issue now? Members of a strange new cult have been caught desecrating a temple of the gods. What would you like to do to, with these godless monsters? We could make it a public spectacle. Uh, we must make an example of these cultists and any of who fail to give the gods of Rome the respect they deserve. We can offer them to the gods. These people have, been offend have offended the gods. The gods will want to punish them accordingly. Let's go ahead and make it a public spectacle. And it might seem a little bad and a little harsh, but I think that's what we need to have happen. If they're going to desecrate our temples, we might as well make it a public spectacle. Wow, these units can march very far. And this guy can't march nearly as far, but that's fine. I can upgrade these cavalry units. I might as well do it now. I don't know why the base morale is so low. I'm guessing it's because we're on forced march. Let's upgrade these cavalry units too. So obviously that costs money, but they now have more speed if we ever needed speed. Let's upgrade these. And I suppose we could actually make some additional units. It's going to be two more turns until we get those docks up and running. Will this navy be able to um, double time it on down? Yes, they can. I'm going to shift click around. I don't know what's here. I believe all that's really there is like death and destruction and attrition. So there's going to be a lack of food. So I didn't want to, you know, run through and lose men. All right, well, next turn, they probably will be down in Macromedes, so we are gearing up for a war in Libya. I feel like one unit needs to make its way down to Garama, and so we can assault from this road, and then two units will make their way through. Should I make myself another um, army? I think I will. This guy is going to be free because he's of the correct family. Let's raise an army. Unfortunately, the general will cost 500 coin. Let's build six ballistas. Well, I guess we can only build five. And what we're going to do is build two tria. We are now out of money. <laughs> but the entire goal is um, if I have enough legions, I should be able to put one legion in every province. And so that's the goal. So then we could deal with public order a little bit better. Okay, so we are now favored by the gods, 10% wealth from agriculture, and 3 growth per turn. Uh, you now are going to move here, just in case. Let's go ahead and start building up that additional Roman Ballista. We need 2 Triari, we need 2 of these Cavalry units, and if we could somehow make more units next turn, we'll build Principes. All right, we no longer really need to double time, so let's put you in a normal stance. These units, though, do need to be forced marched. Uh, we can't move far at all. But we are making our way down. I'm guessing next turn we're going to have 16 out of 20 troops. And actually, I feel like this unit can force march itself down to this road. Ooh, I'd rather go this way. Oh, uh, look at all the men we lost. <laughs> and we're still going to lose troops. Oh, man, this was that was horrible. <laughs> I didn't think it would be that bad. Oh, uh, that was awful. <laughs> all right, so it's going to take a few turns to get all of our troops back. Maybe it won't take that long. But the sad part is we're still losing men. Oh, that's awful. I should have just trespassed. So now what we're going to do is put you in a normal stance. In fact, I feel like what we're going to do is actually fortify you. Can you can we move you any farther? Yes, we can. So what we're going to do is if we fortify this, we're going to get more replenishment rate. Uh, but this is going to take a... Oh, that's such a bad... That was such a bad thing to do. 
Oh my goodness. Well, at least they're going to look better next turn. So you're going to make your way down to Macromades. Um, you are going to make your way down a little bit farther. Let's go ahead and construct our Principes. And once these next two turns are finally over with, that's when we're going to strike. Uh, let's end this turn as well. I'm definitely going to move this fort. I'll probably move it like an inch or two over. Alright, Lusitania is taking damage because I'm guessing they don't necessarily have any type of, uh, you know, port to provide for their, uh, you know, their military. What I'm going to do is go into a regular stance once again, move up just a tad. We aren't taking attrition, so now I'm going to fortify once again. And I believe by next turn the Triari are going to be fine. Unfortunately, the Roman Ballista are going to take some time. Uh, but every other unit is now going to be in a normal stance and closer and closer to Cyrene. Same thing with you. And same thing with you. So now we need to produce those Principes. These are not Principes. And everybody looks like they're prepped and ready to go. I'm hoping by next turn we could put you into a normal stance and just assault. But, uh... Dang. <laughs> Running through that was not a good option. I should have just... I don't even know if this is a road. It doesn't look like a road. So I would have had to have trespassed around, um, but I would not have lost units. So let's move these units a little bit closer to the city. And so next turn, if we do need to do a naval assault, we can. Surprisingly enough, we're going to be unlocking the natural philosophy next turn. I have a lot of coin. Um, might as well use that now. You know what? I guess we're going to save our coin. Let's end this turn because next turn I really wanted to make it. I want to make the most epic, uh, you know, I, I, next, I want to make a really fun episode next one. So I think that's why I'm going to save all that money and uh, maybe I'll do those investments next turn. All right, the Arverni are definitely growing inside Iberia. So it might be a little bit of a, a hard time dealing with them. I'm curious as to how powerful they really are. All right, we have completed Natural Philosophy, and I believe we are now going to be working on Military Development. I am now also going to be, now that I have a better economy, I definitely want to start working on the Cohort Barracks. And everybody looks like they are prepped and ready to go, except this unit. If I wait one turn, well, let's upgrade these now. So now they all have a lot better speed and I believe better morale. Um, so the reason why I'm concerned, yes, I could wait a turn and get eight additional troops, but I don't think I'm going to. So what we're going to do is assault and declare war on Augilla. Athens is going to be brought in. Well, actually, yep, it's, it is Athens. So, oh, we're declaring war on Egypt. Wow, that is fine by me. Uh, doesn't look like there are any troops inside Augilla, so let's go ahead and auto-resolve this. That is fine. And the entire goal is now that we have a foothold here, we definitely want to go ahead and uh, try to get all of our troops on back. So it looks like we have found some additional troops from Cyrene. All of our Roman Ballistas are now getting some troops. We now own the city. Let's make you a Strategist General, giving you more Gravitas. And I suppose what we're going to do is end this episode. So thank you all for joining me. Hope you all have an awesome day. I will see you in our next adventure.